Hello all and welcome back to the Scrap Lab. As you can see, Ban here is sleeping in his chair like he always does. But we are going to be working on building a flying vehicle because we have all of these parts and I got to use them. We might as well use them. It's high time we took flight. So that's what we're going to be working on now. And hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get a prototype up and flying. Always forget to be uh, fully prepared before I start doing things. I just get too excited to start doing things. I think I want to uh, not use all of our thrusters, but oh, that was way more materials than I meant to grab. But to use a decent amount of thrusters and hopefully... Uh, I'm going to build it in here. Hopefully I can fly it out the door. If I can't, I'll just have to make the door bigger. And I want to make sure that I have plenty of clearance. Probably should have set up some scaffolding because I don't actually have a good way to build this without scaffolding. Alright, so first thing I'm going to attach is the thruster. Hopefully that uh, we'll make it uh, right about there. It's going to be hard to get this thing to stand on end, I think. But we will try. I don't even know if I can lift this thing on my own. I guess I kind of can't. <laughs> well then. That makes my life a little bit more difficult. Alright, I have a plan. I'm gonna make this happen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lean this up against that, uh, that piece over there. And then we can make it lift up with a piston. Get this all up and running. Um, let me go with that. Let me place. Why? Why can I not place a magnetic plate? Huh. It's actually baffling. just doesn't want to go on the only direction that I want to put it on. That's funny. I think it'll work fine this way. Oh, well, now it worked. We need to get some power on this. That's obviously what's causing problems. 
So, let's attach a battery right away. I think I'm going to put spaces between everything that I put on just so that we can dismantle this. Well, take pieces off and put pieces back on easily. Once this attaches, should immediately start lifting up. There we go. Very nice. Make sure we weld up our supporting beam. That's one battery attached. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have another battery. And we'll do it pretty much the same way. We'll have our big thruster, two batteries in a row, and then we'll put some other thrusters and whatnot on the other side. I think two batteries is going to be a good amount. make sure to arrange them so they look nice otherwise ban will give me an earful I'm sure just wants to jitter off to the side. Not sure why. We'll attach this first and then position it. There we go. Two batteries, big thruster. We need to add some side thrusters, some down thrusters, a little bit of everything, gyroscope. Actually, we'll probably put the gyro right here. I think that's a fitting spot for a gyro if I can fit it in there. Uh, what are these, how do these attach? Thinking about having those be the side-to-side -side thrust. And then we'll have two of these ones right here forwards and two of these backwards. And that should be everything we need. Theoretically. In order to fly. Uh, I'm going to use two gyros. Gyro. Gyro. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can get that right where I want it. 
I also want, um, in front of this, I want some sort of connection point. I'm making sure everything is going to stay a little ways off the ground. I might actually keep this piston just for the sake of it. And then I want a cargo container here with a connector underneath it. I want the connector to reach lower than this. So it will start there. So my cargo is going to go right there. We're just going to put one medium cargo container on this. A variety of things but only a little bit at a time Here I go putting it up top before I have attachment methods. I actually think I want those openings to be to the side. That way we can do this properly. Surprisingly jittery. I didn't think it would be this jittery. Make sure to weld it. And I don't know how I'm going to get this on. Maybe I should have attached this first. I need to get a connector down here now. Oh, I don't need to merge a connector. I can just build it. Gosh, I'm getting so used to having to merge everything that I'm forgetting that some blocks I don't actually have to go through that nightmare for. good. I think if I connected it all up so that they were all touching, it would be more efficient weight-wise, but be a little bit dangerous, I think. I don't, I'm not into the danger factor of that. That'll work for our cargo. We'll have the control seat up here. going to go ahead and add a gyroscope first. Gyro right there. And we'll add a gyro right up there too. So we'll have our gyros, our cargo, this. Our batteries will be in the back because they're going to be heavy. I'm going to give this thing legs so that I can kind of stand and stay off the ground a little ways. I actually might give it wheels. Ban, Ban was mentioning something like that. Problem with wheels is they kind of make everything heavier. The whole wheel suspensions and everything. I might just give it some small wheels. Just so that it has something to land on that's a bit of a cushion. I don't think that's a bad idea. Maybe give it uh, a 3x3 three three wheel on the back. Yeah, maybe 3x3 three, three three wheels. I'm not opposed to that. 
All right, let's get these gyros on while I'm thinking of it. We need these welding pads. Just to make my life a little bit easier. go. Try to make sure to get these gyros both situated on the same way. I can never remember which is the front and which is the back of this gyro. I think Blue is supposed to be forwards. Maybe. Blue is forwards, red is to the right. I think this is correct. There we go. Put the other one on the same way. Get our lights on so we can see. I want to get two gyros on here just so that it has a little bit more control if it's going over something or it's carrying some heavy weight. No, no jetpack fuel. Okay. I feel like I forgot to put the welding pad on this one. Get up there. Okay, two gyros complete. Um, thinking I might just leave this bit of metal here. I'm not opposed to it. get rid of it for now all right we need some sideways thrusters and some forwards and backwards thrust forwards and backwards can, for backwards can go there right on the side here unless I want to put it a little higher yeah we'll put it higher we'll put it uh, centered right here. Or do I just want to put it on top? Perhaps we consider where the wheels are going to go. We'll use the wide 3x3s. there. I don't think that's low enough.
two in the front. Perhaps one in the back. One about right here. Short off-road wheel suspension, kind of like that. Okay, that will keep it off the ground when it lands. Hopefully. No, it's adding weight we probably don't need, but if it can make us survive a little bit better, then it's worth it. Very nice. I know, more armors, more weight. But, I want it to be sturdy. We're gonna make this Hopefully not collide so much. Okay, we'll have our little cockpit thing there. We're gonna wrap around some armor. Just to try and protect that back battery a little bit better. I really want to make sure this is safe. Connection points.
Energy. Great. Alright, now we can get rid of that. I don't think we need to do any more along the bottom, really. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Oh. God. It's gonna drift right out the door. Forgot the uh, thruster always wants to do what it's doing. Okay. I'm going to put this on because I think this looks like a proper scrap thing. Of course, I'm bottoming out. Uh... Just need to turn inertial dampeners off. And we can't get rid of this just yet because it's the only thing attaching us here. Okay, we can temporarily get rid of that. We had to drift into a really awkward location. There we go. Really? Really? Okay, I'm not going to screw with this because I don't want to break my thrusters or my batteries, so we're going to have to very carefully tip this back over. I could probably use my gyros on override. Surprising. The gyros should easily be able to flip this. They weren't doing anything. Makes me think those gyros are screwy. They're both on. Zeroed all of those out. Need to roll. How did I immediately roll this thing? So typical. The uh, thruster is so heavy, thruster and batteries, that I just cannot flip it back. All right, try and get some leverage here. Well, let's just put a piston on it. That should tip it a little bit. And this should tip it the rest of the way. Wow. 
Why? Crazy. I guess the gyros are still on override. What the heck? It's like the gyros are flipping it, but the gyros don't have override or anything. What is making it want to tip over backwards? Jeez. I guess just the position and weight of some of those blocks? Maybe I need to make those wider. I just need to make two wheels on the back, positioned right about here. Or even just all the way back here. I was trying to get away with fewer wheels so that it'd be lighter. But maybe that's just not going to work. I don't want this to be super unstable when we're driving it around. Hey, oh, Stormwind. How's it going? making a mess of this fly around building. Yeah, it's gonna be a um, it's gonna be our first flying vehicle. I just haven't put most of the thrusters on yet. I think I do need to lift this up again. I like the idea of two wheels in front and one in the back because it kind of gives it a helicopter look, but I don't think it's practical. Yeah, could. I got plenty of thrusters, though. And I want to have my big thruster be the upwards thrust so that we can carry stuff with it. I removed this piston, and now I'm just going to end up putting it right back.
I feel like I'm breaking all my own rules of building rovers by having all of the heavy weight up high, like the batteries there. Quite awkward. Definitely not going to be for rolling around. That is not even the right wheel. Jeez. There we go. Okay. What is this? Oh, I remember. All right, thrusters. I'm gonna put it thrusters right there, maybe, and thrusters right here for forwards and backwards, and the side ones. We're gonna have to figure out. Okay. A couple blocks clearance here. We start in 15 minutes. Well, let's see if we can get our thrusters on before then. Tricky.
It's not actually the direction I wanted that facing. And I realized that right as it was merging. I actually want it to face the other way. There we go. Right, we got those done. It's pretty good. Two more back here. Uh, maybe I put them. Um, yeah, I put them right here. I don't really want to put them on the big thruster because I'm worried they'll explode if the big thruster explodes. Bit concerning. So I want to make sure I have some sort of attachment other than these two boxes. Because if the boxes blow up, I don't want the vehicle to split in half. Same kind of deal with what's going on here. If that explodes, I don't want it to split in half. But I don't want to add a crazy amount of weight either, so...
Okay, we'll mirror that on this side. That is some of that taken care of. Now if any of the big blocks blow up, we shouldn't lose everything. Also need to get a few other things on here. We need an antenna. Actually we might move this gyroscope. Put the antenna and the remote control kind of in the middle right there. Move the gyroscope down. Yeah. the gyro right here. Oh, I hate that I don't have a jetpack for building. It's driving me absolutely insane. There we go. Now we can put the antenna in here.
Might use a welding pad for this one too. Just think it'll be easier. Okay, that's good. Remote control, we can build. We get it in time. Let's blueprint this. Restart, awaiting restart. Almost got this built before the restart. That was a lot of teas. All right, we'll be right back after this restart. Finish up this flying vehicle and give it a test flight. Should be pretty sweet. Six more thrusters, four more thrusters to put on. And then we're good to go. Getting back on the server, slowly. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, grabbing a drink before it gets back up. Be right back.
perfect timing once again. Excellent. All right. And just because it just... Ooh, mouth words after I get a drink. Very difficult. It just restarted, so it's a good time to test pilot because we should have excellent simulation speed, which is very nice. That's good. I'm going to add a camera to the front. That way we can remote control it nicely. We'll let band name it. And we'll make it pretty good range so we can uh, control it from a long ways off if we have to. Hopefully we don't have to, but this gives us the option to do so. All right, a couple more thrusters. Where should I put my ones that will push me forwards? Maybe I'll put them on little wings right here. It's such a weird place to put them, but I think I like it because it's weird. Put them on little little sticks like that. Ooh, I could even do it between like that. We'll use more of these because we have them. Huh, it's not jittery right now. That's nice. Mm, still can't climb it. I think that's more that I'm bad, not that. Ow. Oh. Okay, well. We'll make some temporary stuff. So that we can connect it. One there. Let's put one on the other side. Okay, what else do we need? Some sideways facing thrusters. I might, I might actually put those right here. Uh, I think that's an okay spot for them. We're gonna have to build a bunch of scaffolding to make this sit nicely. I have to remove a bunch of stuff too, which is a bit of a pain, but it's worth it. And we are going to use these for our sideways ones. Honestly, we could probably build two flying vehicles. But I think having one with a little bit better control is going to be preferable. One that has better control and can lift a little bit more. Why does it want to tip? Seriously? Why? I don't exactly get it. Maybe I need to make the platform a little bit wider. I 
Oh, I know why it wants to dip. It's because it's actually heavier on that side. Huh. Okay. Let's just get it so that I can merge right away. There we go. Inventory full. Inventory full. That yeah, looks a little bit weird. But it'll it'll do. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Don't care. Do not care that my inventory is full right now. I'm busy. But now I see why it was full. I wish these matched. These don't quite match. There we go. Left, right, forwards, backwards, and up. We should be able to fly now. Looks like I'm flying a car, but... That's because I kind of am. Hello, triple threat. What am I making? Well, I just slapped together a simple flying vehicle for our scrapyard playthrough. I'm gonna give it a test out. Um, still got a few thrusters. I definitely want to put a parachute on it in case I do something silly. I want it to be piped in though. So, I think we're going to add, thanks, I think it looks decent, it's kind of scrappy, and should function alright. It's definitely not ideal 
but because we're playing scrapyard I can't just build these blocks I have to attach them and I wanted to attach them in a way in which none of the blocks were going to split the vehicle if I take them off and replace them with something else so that's kind of why it's all spaced out and a little bit funky this is a little close to the ground when it's on its wheels but that's okay the thruster is nice and high off the ground, which is really what matters to me the most. I could add more up thrust, because I only have that one big one. But I'm not sure that that's super concerning to me. I'm actually going to add another blast door foot here. to uh, keep myself a little bit safer. That way, if I do have a bottoming out situation, this will bottom out long before my thruster will, because my thruster is extremely valuable. Now this might bottom out when I otherwise wouldn't, but I would still rather have that than have my thruster ever touching the ground. So, worthwhile. Looks a little bit suspicious right there but <laughs> we're gonna live with it we're gonna add gosh dang it all right scaffolding time so tired of not being able to get on top here we're just going to add a converter block. And then we can add all sorts of uh, parachutes up top where we want them. Yeah. Gosh dang it. Cooperate block. There we go. How much weight? Uh, I'll let you know in a second. to do that. We'll load it with all of our canvases, actually. Oh, there was still stuff in that cargo container. That's funny. Currently 16,000. 16,600 kilograms, I assume. Um, if I pull that parachute, it's going to fall pretty heavily on those back tires. I don't want it to break the batteries. Let's look at where the center mass is. Right. So the back wheels will hit first. But it might want to tip backwards. I think the gyros will be okay for uh, making sure it tips forwards. I could actually move this to here. And that would let it fall a little bit better. 15k per parachute to make it fall at a safe speed. Yeah, I was thinking of adding two anyway just to make it fall extra slowly. But I think I'm just gonna... We'll take it up real quick and see how it falls with one. Also, this is currently not carrying anything. So I'm... Well, I'm definitely gonna add another. Because it's currently not carrying anything and I'm definitely gonna have it carrying stuff. So let's just add another right away. Okay. 
We'll add it right there. We can manufacture parachutes in this playthrough, so it's not a big issue if we use a ton of them. Add those to my hop. I need a name for this vehicle. Yep. They work any way you want. They can be completely covered. Yeah. I just want them to be kind of over the center of mass here as much as possible. They're not at all currently, but... That's okay, because I don't want to run piping all over the place on this vehicle either. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. All right. What should we call it? Hmm. What does it look like? Kind of looks like a dog, honestly. Um. Hmm. Well, the Skyhound. That works for me.
All right, we need landing gears or magnetic plates on the bottom of this so that I can pick stuff up. Hmm. Maybe that's what I do right here. Maybe that's what I do with this bit. Instead of doing it right there, I move it over. Because I don't want it to be right below the thruster. But I'm going to pick stuff up because I don't want the thruster to damage whatever I'm picking up. I either need it to be back further or forwards further. And I don't really want to put it forwards. So... I guess we move it back. I guess we move it here. <laughs> okay, I have a really silly idea. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna use a hinge. Ah, I really shouldn't use a hinge. Dang. I wanna use a hinge because it would look so funny. Have the have this like arm flip down with a connector on it. It would look so funny. Piston for an option to raise and lower. Um, I just don't want it to be on a subgrid because I'm a little worried that that's going to cause my ship to want to fall out of the sky whenever I grab something with it. Because that seems to be just how it always works. It just always does that if I have a subgrid of any sort. Then again, if I don't. Hmm. These wheels are going to be in the way of picking stuff up if I don't do it like right where the thruster is. Uh, I forget off the top of my head um, how far the thrusters actually deal damage. I want to say it's like two and a half blocks, but it could be a lot further than that. I'm going to go look it up real quick. I need to know. Ah, oh, gosh dang it, I'll just look it up in my own video. I know I have it there. I could, yeah, yeah, that'll be the easiest way to do it. It's two? Maybe. It might be. I know exactly where it is in my video, I just... It's been a while. A few months since I actually tested it. Um, uh, here we go. Hello all, it's Shifty here, and you can hear my old microphone voice. Ooh. You gonna freeze on me or what, PC? <laughs> the heck? Doesn't want to load the web page. weird watching me watch myself um my web page is frozen hello all it's shifty here and today we are going to be taking this is all right now it's working in any way shape or form these four blocks it's four blocks these deal damage out to four blocks below them yeah so yeah I'm gonna have to move it the connection point a ways away from the thruster gosh dang it I wanted to put it in the middle. 
it's kind of an issue with these wheels. Because I would just put it, uh, like, where the wheels are, right? Like, up here, right between the wheels. But it's an issue with the wheels being there. Yeah, see, a hinge is still a subgrid. I don't want to do subgrid. Otherwise, I would totally do, okay, just for the memes, I would put the hinge right here. And it would have a piston on it. And then it would rotate down and extend. And I'll just let you picture what that would look like. It would be hilarious. But I really don't want to use a subgrid. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're, we're going to refrain. We're going to refrain from doing that. We'll just put it right here. There. Needs that for more support, I think. <laughs> All right, let's take this out for a test flight. Feels pretty good. A little funky flying around with the car. But, should do the job. This will make scouting way faster. Or trading with people that are a long distance away. Put that on the main hop bar. I know where it is on the other hop bars, but I'll just put it here as well. <laughs> Look down there, see my shadow. It's just the shadow of a car flying by. Lock it so I don't have clang. Yeah, that would solve the clang problem, but uh, it wouldn't necessarily solve the problem of my vehicle not being able to handle the weight on the subgrid. So when I fly up, it wouldn't be able to hover, it would just slowly drift downwards, which I don't want. This feels pretty good to fly. Two hours, a couple hours of flight time. It's not bad. Oh. All right, Bannon Settlement. Do our first flying loot run here. I wonder how much I could actually lift up and carry back with this. Maybe a decent amount. Ah, this is so much more comfortable than driving. Ooh, it's a full-size building. All right. Very cool. It's a shed. We could add a shed to our base. Come pick this bad boy up and just carry it back.
Okay, I need thrusters on my hop bar. Well, we've got an engine right here with one power cell in it. We don't need another big engine, I don't think. Well, maybe not a bunch, but one cargo tank container full. This is just stuff that spawns into the world. This is how we find all of our stuff. Because we can't build anything, we have to go out and we have to find scrap in the world. This looks promising, honestly. Oh my god, it has a large cargo container in it? We're gonna take that home with us. I have to replace one because I... <laughs> I sold one that Ban really wanted me to keep. I traded it to another faction for something frivolous, but necessary. Hey, you left. How's it going? I just found another large cargo. And we have a flying vehicle to bring it back now. See if there's any battery components in any of these. Useless. Cannot detach. Well, this is really not that important. Big cargo container is really what I want. I'll open up a space for me to roll that out of here. everywhere. Inventory full. There we go. Inventory full. Just gonna take the valuable stuff home. I guess we take it all for now. Okay, we'll bring the car over there. Surprisingly light for how big it is. I feel like I definitely shouldn't be able to drag this, but I can. Well, if I can get this home, it's a very successful first run. Alright, so we'll turn that off. Turn our thrusters on. Inertial dampeners on. 
How am I going to pick this up? Probably wasn't, but I'm a little, a little worried. We're gonna weld it up as much as we can just to try and keep it alive. Might make it harder to carry doing that, but... What's this? Collector? Not super important. This battery would be nice. I don't really care about that. Either way? Hmm. Maybe it is. I really don't know. We need uh, another one of these. Taking that battery with us too. Uh, anything in here? Tubes. Tubes. Um, I don't think I'm damaging it. I hope not. Let's take it home. Definitely feeling pretty heavy. It's gonna be the easiest loot I've ever gotten though, for sure. Feels all right. Tried you a large smogard atmo for that cargo. Mm, I don't think I can trade this one. Ban wasn't very pleased with me trading the last one, so this is my uh, my bid to cheer him back up. If I find another, I'll consider that trade, though.
Home sweet home. Very nice. Achievement get. Large cargo acquired. Beautiful. Nice sand rusty. Need to make a place for me to land that thing. Shoot. Might have to go a little bit further. Do this on council or not? Um, I don't know. I mean, you can definitely do it. It's just a matter of whether or not all of the mods are accessible on council. 
Um, which I have no idea, honestly. But you could always, uh, you could always look for the mods and see if they are. They very well might be. You can definitely build these types of things. Um, all the building is pretty much vanilla blocks. It's just the uh, style of the server that I'm playing on. I don't know if that's uh, something you could do on console. Mission success, mission number one. I think I might try to get this thruster on there as well, facing upwards. We'll do a few modifications to it. Make it a little bit more functional. Oh my god, get that thruster on. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't bother with that. There's something else I want to put on this, though. I think it's a beacon. Ah, no. We'll just have the antenna. Because the antenna is a much more critical thing to make sure you have. Do we have enough to repair one of these? 12, we need some more, eight more. We actually have enough to repair a couple of them by the looks of it. Regular battery. Well, we have enough to repair this one. Repair that. And have it here so we know we have it. Prepare this one because we can do so. Four power cells in that only. Yeah, we need a lot more if we're going to repair another. I'm not going to worry about attaching those just yet. Let's 
take another flight. See if we can find anything else. Scout these mountains behind us, maybe? Just see what they actually look at, look like from the sky. It's going to make looting stuff on the mountains so much easier. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of what I thought they looked like. Not exactly. Turn the suspensions off. Eh, maybe we don't want to turn them off. Just saves a little bit of power. Yeah, you can log out in, in pretty much any seat. Anything that you have power in. It seems like you can log out in it and not die. Which is not normal, but... I guess it works out in this playthrough. Oh, it feels good to fly. It feels good to fly, but it feels so wrong flying a vehicle that looks like this. Even my flying vehicles look like long rovers. It's just the theme of this playthrough, I guess. A long rover with not enough wheels. That's what everything looks like. There's definitely a lot of room to grow still. Like we have flight now, but we could really use better flight. More carrying capacity. Something spawned in. Should be a lot easier to spot it from the air. Found something that's going to be helpful, Radimus? What is it? I must know. Ooh, free GPS, okay. It's a little ways away from me. I know it wasn't meant for me, but it's a little ways away. Otherwise I would travel over there. I don't think I have enough battery power to do that. I, well, I probably do if I just glide. On a shop that is at the end of the mountain pass. Huh.
I see something. Looks like a little shed. Come in for a uh, rolling landing. See how that works out. It looks like the exact thing I was just at, though. Did I just go to the same location again? Probably did. Yeah, this is the one I was just at, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Same place. Well, there's a little bit more to loot here, I think. Glass. Want any of this junk? We'll leave it. If I'm not going to take the engine, I might as well take that power cell. something right over here that I didn't notice before. What is this? Oh, it's a fallen over power cell thing. Tower. Power tower. I see something this way now. Up on a hill. Looks really tall. We'll go check that out. Straight in front of me. It's another power line. Oh, and it's falling over. Currently falling over. Okay. Is there another thing over there? There is. Huh. I just came from this direction. Weird. Okay. Maybe there's some scrap on the ground? Well, this one is falling over, over here. There's one, two more. Power lines. Uh, there's also something right on the ground here. Looks like part of a helicopter. That could be good. They've got an ore detector. Can't make those, so we'll definitely take that. What else does it have? Looks like not a whole lot else. Flight controller, small cargo. That just took off into space. This is why I thought this might be an issue. Because if it's in a small area, Look at this thing, whatever that was, still coming down. Jeez. I had some motors in it. I don't know what flew over here. I think it was just a block. Hard to say though. Kind of disappeared. Is this it? What's this? A conveyor cap. Just got blown into space.
It's a light we don't need. The battery, maybe? Maybe we take the battery. Battery and the ore detector. Take them both in one chunk. What's behind it? Uh, just a piece of junk. Hopefully I don't blow the thing into space again. Those are some good parts, really. Not bad at all. Not incredible, but not bad. Take this with us. Because those are a couple parts we can't really make. All right, this is plate three. Plate three and plate four. out of this vehicle here. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, we don't really have sunlight anymore. But it's something. Loot acquired. I don't see anything else down there. Just the power lines. Might have a buggy up for trade? Hmm. I have a jalopy up for trade. I guess technically I have a truck too that I've refurbished that we're not using. Four-seater, eh? Sounds pretty good. Uh, both of mine are two-seaters. In case we want to fly together somewhere, Ben and I.
This is way faster. Way faster than driving. Oh, it's so nice. Can't wait till we have a vehicle that can actually carry a substantial amount. That can fly. Imagine the, uh, the limakine driving or flying. That'd be sick. Something to work towards, for sure. Someday we might have to move just to relieve the the voxel stuff. Now we got something loading. That streamed for a decent amount of time. What is it? I don't see anything. Don't like it. I don't want nighttime. Not yet. I want to fly more.
surprisingly little spawning for how much we've been drifting. Kind of reminds me of uh, drifting around on Mars in small grid only. Just calmly, quietly drifting around the planet, looking for signals. Oh, there we got something streaming now. Something spawned, but I don't see it. Excellent. This is the same place once again, though. I am on purpose going in circles, but I didn't think I was going in that perfect of a circle. <laughs> That's where we got our large cargo from. We're going to turn a little bit, and we're going to do a wider circle from the base. I just don't want to go further than 10 kilometers, because I don't want my antenna to not be able to reach. Because right now, if I fall out of my car, or I do something silly, and I die... I can remote control this from my base, as long as it's within 10 kilometers. I could turn up the antenna, I suppose, but it's just going to eat more power then. I'll turn it up temporarily. Go check out the top of this mountain. I don't know if I've ever been up there. Hoping for another settlement spawn, which is something that I actually see spawn in with a little red circle. Let's go over and look at this really tall mountain. I looked at it from a distance before, but I haven't looked at it up close. It might be an interesting place to visit. Maybe it's a volcano or something. Could be a cool place for a base. Maybe even for launching our rocket to space. We could maybe go up to the top of this. Use a little bit less fuel. 
I don't know. Might not be a bad outpost. Once we get uh, air superiority. Dang, it is a high peak. A little bit surprised that my thrusters can get me up here. I guess I have decent thrust, though. Yeah. It wouldn't be a bad spot for an outpost if you have flying vehicles. There's not really much way to get here without a flying vehicle. That would be cool. I'll put a waypoint down. Maybe this is where we'll build our spaceport. Could be pretty neat. It's not terribly far from our main outpost either. 12k, 12 and a half. Ooh, my inertial dampener's off there for a second. It's a little bit scary. Yeah, no way to drive up there. We'd have to fly all of the different parts up there. Be interesting. Be a fun project. We're going to head back to base. Doesn't seem to be spawning much. Maybe we'll take out one of the rovers for a proper looting run. We'll see. See if I can get uh, Ban online here to try this out sometime. I think he'll be happy with it. Maybe a little frightened. But I think he'll be happy to be flying. It'll be a lot more comfortable doing that than uh, driving, probably. And even if he jumps out of the vehicle, it's not going to be the end of the world. Oh, nice. We did get a spawn on the way back. Because I'll be able to um, come by and remote control it. Bring it in for a landing. Oh, look at that. It is a... Another settlement. Very cool. With another huge shed. I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's a weird structure. active turret though yep it kind of looks like there is it didn't shoot at me though that's kind of weird well mm, I'll take it and it has a large cargo. I can't believe it. We just found another large cargo container. Maybe flight is the answer. 
That is crazy. I don't think I'm going to grab med kits. I don't think they're very useful. Grab the good stuff out of the door, the computers, displays, motors, tubes. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Use the good grinder. Taking this home with us. This is a full battery. Got a full battery and a large cargo out of this place. And who knows whatever else is up in those buildings. Could be more stuff. Might not be able to carry it all home though. Ah, oh, shoot. That one's in the way. There we go. Jeez. What a good find. you come, Mr. Cargo. <laughs> Glorious. Well then. I think that's all I want out of this shed. Let's check the other one up here. I should put a beacon on this vehicle. That's one thing I do not have yet on it. It's a scrap beacon. It should definitely have one. Uh, I don't know where to stick it. I guess we'll just stick it here for now. Just in case I get disconnected or something weird.
I don't know if it looks very promising, but some tubes. How come I running into? Uh, little control we don't need. This is all just tubes to me. Tubes and motors. Should definitely take one of these buildings home at some point. It'd be a nice addition. A small shed. It would look cool. But it could be good. Some reactor components. That's interesting. We're almost, well, we're not almost full actually. Let's just throw this in there for now. Looks like a lot of tubes. Tubes and motors and all sorts of good stuff. Hopefully we can get it to tip over. Mm, okay. Tip please. A lot easier. Another good chunk of motors, actually. Mm, not a bad find. All right, let's grab this cargo container, see if we can get it home, secure it with the other one. Well, it doesn't look like we're damaging it. Hopefully we're not. One day and we got a flying vehicle and two large cargos might be one of the most productive days we've had on this game. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got a few people online. Not too many, but a few. Seems like we always have at least four or five people online here, which is nice. Somewhat active. Let's see the base loading in slowly in the distance. I think I'm going to put these cargo containers behind the building so Ban doesn't see them right away. I'll put this one behind the building. And then he'll see the one right outside and be like, oh sweet, we got a new one. And then he'll walk around the back and be like, wait, is that the same one? Do we get two new ones? That'll be good. So we got one to trade and one to keep, probably. Pretty valuable for trade, I would say. And now we have three batteries that are complete. These now. This is all electronic pile. Um, I'm going to dismantle this stuff now. The ore detector is kind of cool. But I don't know if we really need it. Either way, I'll put it in the other building because it's kind of unique. Beacons, antennas, beacons, that kind of stuff. We never did offload all the stuff from our vehicles last time we were on. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Then next time we're on, we can just go out and do stuff right away. Do you get a few more batteries? A few more components? Let's rearrange this a little bit. Just put it in the order that I like it in. Computers go here. Just makes it easier for me to see how much of everything I have. If it's always in a similar order, it doesn't have to be perfect, but 
it does help to be understandable. Oh, that looks pretty good. 23,000 ice still. It's quite a bit. We start converting it into hydrogen if we wanted to, but I'm not worried. We aren't really using any hydrogen vehicles yet. Got quite a few parts. Kind of lacking on metal grids, but really just need those for our large cargo containers anyway. I wouldn't mind hooking up more um, wind turbines now. We have a lot of vehicles parked and we got a lot of batteries to recharge. And we have three more now. We have three of these, which is a good number. That would be enough to expand out the same formation one tier further. Got those locked in place. Could probably repair this one somewhat. What else? Oh. Oh. Huh. Our wall. We're missing part of our wall. Have we always been missing this part of the wall? I feel like we probably have, and I just never noticed until just now. That is crazy. Huh. I just saw that little tab on the ground, and I'm like, I feel like that should be attached to something. Why is it not attached to anything? Because the wall isn't there. Awkward. Oh! No, the wall was there. I just took those out to build to take the flying vehicle out. We haven't been missing them the whole time. Just as of today. That's good. I can get these chunks inside. Uh... This is what? A cargo container? Large grid, small cargo? This is number five. Maybe more, maybe less. Yeah, number five. Ah, I will have to weld it up just to see if there's anything in there. Ben's going to want to keep it. Ben likes keeping everything. But we already have three large grid batteries on our base. I suppose we could we could keep it and we could build another base. It's really the primary thing we could do with it. There was actually stuff in it. I'm glad I did that. battery. You can do it.
Guess I have to push it. Put it over by the large cargo outside here. Figure out what to do with it next time. All my junk from the side. I didn't realize I had so much stuff on the side of my vehicle. Hydrogen. That's good. It's a good block. We only have a few of these. Put it in the main house. Uh, I thought we had another one over here. Isn't that what this is? It looks like a battery. Oh, we used it. It's uh, it's right here now. I forgot about that. Well, now we have a spare one once again. We should start another pile. We should start a pile for spaceship stuff. This is our atmospheric stuff. I don't know why these batteries are here, honestly. They shouldn't be there. Atmospheric stuff goes here. These batteries need to just get hauled to the other location. I'm going to put the H2O2 by the hydrogen engines. Because it is going to go with them. There we go. That's our progress towards the spaceship. Might not be anytime soon, but I don't know what we're going to find when we get there. Apparently there's stuff for this mod in space. I have no idea what though. to being done though maybe not oh it's turned off oh we're gonna do this again Every time I attach something, it's going to do some contortionist nonsense. Okay, that one doesn't want to attach for whatever reason. Ah, nice. On the last one, it kind of janked back to normal. There we go. Just run into things a little bit. These are air vents. Really the best thing here is this antenna. Of course, it doesn't want to uh, actually work. Sometimes those buttons work, sometimes they don't do anything. It's kind of annoying. But what can you do? Alright, well, we're going to drop everything off. I'm happy with what got accomplished. Got two large cargo containers, a large grid battery, and we got our flying vehicle up and running. So next time, hopefully bands around and we can go out and do some dual hunting. 
one of us can fly, the other one can drive, and we can loot a whole bunch of stuff. That is going to be it for tonight, though. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.